Presenting the horses for race number six, Stallions and Gildings, racing one mile, first two thousand dollars. This a field of nine. There are no changes. Number one is a good and great, owned by Ted and Frieda Roop of Dayton. Ted Roop drives. Number two is Border Reaver, owned and driven by Phil Davy of Bill Fountain. Number three, KW's Masterpiece, owned by Ken and Joanne Kirk of New Holland, Walt Ferguson, Jr. Four, Raceway Duke, owned by Chuck Grubbs of Grove City with Brad Hanners. Number five is Traditional Guy, owned by Donna Rogers of Lebanon, Jimmy Wissman. Six is Double Down Style, owned by Lauren Paul Baker of Galloway with Jeff Fount. Number seven is Pert Near Perfect, Mike Wilder drives for owner Jim Fry. Number eight, Kenny Brook, owned by Joanne Miller of Miamisburg, Sam Coben of the bike. And number nine, Golden Seat, owned by Kerry Turcott of Canada, Leslie Turcott in Sankey. Sixth race, Stallions and Gildings are on and behind the gate. They swing to the back stretch for the start. There they go. They're off and uh, pacing. It's the four raceway Duke for the lead. Traditional guy alongside his second. Porter Reaver finds a seat early this week. Is along the rail third of the outside pacing fourth double down style. Off the rail five came good and great. Moving through the inside sixth kid of his masterpiece. Early seventh, Purton near perfect is parked to the inside. Racing eighth comes Golden Seat Kenny Brook, the early trailer. Approaching the first quarter on the outside, uh, it's double down style to take command at the first stop. 29 and 2, double down style to the front end. Inside a second, Raceway Duke and Border Reaver is out again. He's racing a third. Long the rail fourth, it's traditional guy. Racing five comes good and great. Inside a sixth, it's Purton near perfect. To the outside, seventh comes Kenny Brook as they race towards the half. Border Reaver back down to the inside, has taken the lead now. Double down style to the inside is second. Good and great is now uncovered, moving first up third. Raceway Duke along the rail is fourth. They reach the half one minute. Kenny Brook under the outside is racing a fifth now. The inside and sixth comes traditional guy, saving ground seventh. It's per near perfect. Golden Seat comes to the outside is eighth, and now the uh, trailer is KW's masterpiece. Down the back side, and it's Border Reaver with the lead at 18-1. to 1. He leads by a length and a half inside a second. Double down style, long the rail third, Raceway Duke. Good and great, can't advance on the outside. He's still there fourth, three quarters and one, 30 and one, Border Reaver. Again, looking for the upset, leads by a length and a half. Double down style has yet to move second. Outside, now pacing a third as they move to the final turn. It's good and great. With less than an eighth of a mile ago, and Border Reaver clinging to the lead. Inside, double down style, racing a third on the far outside. Now here it comes, Golden Seat, and he's coming on strong. Golden Seat, 22 to 1. Kenny Brook alongside, and Golden Seat gets up to win it. The official winner this evening, a big mile coming from last to first, number nine, Golden Seat. Nine-year-old son of Abercrombie from Miss Snell by Fashion Tip, owned by Kerry Turcott of Canada, Leslie Turcott, the trainer and driver tonight. Golden Seat getting there in deep stretch for his first season's victory, pacing the mile in two minutes and three-fifths. The 9-8 Perfecta paying $341, and the Trifecta 9-8-2, Returning $8,701.60. Sixth race results, the one good and great, number eight.